Hey guys, it's Phil and I'm back with another video on the EQ Maker Toy DIY 3D Printer. And today we're going to be playing with lasers. But in a very safe and controlled manner. So, put on your safety gear and let's rock! Last time we talked about the CNC carving of my Audi R8 here, and this time we're going to be talking about laser engraving. And it has a 1.5 watt Class A laser, and so it will not cut through anything, but it will engrave very precise marks, like actually burning the marks into a variety of different materials, uh, like cardboard, or wood or leather and others. So my experience has been a little hit or miss. Let's take a look at how it works. So here's the software eCubeWare and this is the 3D printing interface but we can come up here to add machine and toy DIY 4-in-1 and laser tool head. And we'll click yes on the box that pops up and it'll take a second. Okay, and here's the laser engraving window. So you can load a file up here, open file. And this is the first miss. So I can pick the vector image, and here's a drawing of a, a McLaren car that I want to put on there. So I'm going to click that, and we'll wait for it to open up. And there it is. But wait, that's not a McLaren. So, no matter what uh, SVG file I open, I get this tiger. And uh, so after talking to them back and forth for a while, I, they tell me that it only accepts uh, very basic, like, I guess, rudimentary SVG files, which I don't really understand. My car was saved out of Inkscape. Uh, but here, I get this tiger. So they say that it will be fixed in the next version of the software. So anyway, you can use rastered images uh, like PNGs or JPEGs just fine. So I have this uh, drawing of Supergirl that I did a couple years ago on my phone. Uh, this was done in uh, Sketchbook Pro on the Galaxy Note 7, if I remember correctly. Uh, but So I've tried to uh, print this a few times. But I've had problems with it where it always comes out with either too much contrast or it's too light and it just doesn't look good. So I had one idea since uh, it prints uh, line art like that McLaren just fine. It looks awesome like that. So I had this idea. I don't know if we'll see if this will work. Uh, where I'd made it a halftone image like old black and white newspaper print. So if we zoom in, we can see it's all just black dots. So let's try to print that and see how it works. So I'll come up here to File, Open File, and here is my Supergirl halftone. There she is. So we can do a few things, adjusting the brightness, the contrast. Let's adjust the white clip here. So I'm going to keep that very low, maybe down at 1, uh, because I don't want it to you know, clip anything inside the image. But uh, let's turn on... Uh, I don't think we need to turn on this 1-bit dithering, uh, because it's already dithered. Uh, you can change the direction, horizontal or vertical. In my uh, experience, it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference. Uh, I think if you're using wood, the uh, it might help in some with some types of wood if the grain of the wood is going in the same direction of the laser. Okay, and so let's come down here to slicing. Oh, let's make sure that the size is correct. My piece of wood is about four by six inches. 
So let's make the height. Okay, the height is already set at 100 millimeters. So that should do pretty well. It's not going to take up the entire piece of wood, but it'll fill up a good amount of it. Okay, so let's hit slicing, which really should say slice. And here we go. Estimated time, 2 hours, 56 minutes. Let's click OK. And so now I can save it. Okay, I'll save her as supergirlhalftone.gcode. Save, and then now we'll bring it out to the printer. Okay, here we are back at the machine. And I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to go to Utility, because I was 3D printing, so I'm going to go to Utility and Change Tool Head and Change to Laser Tool Head. Now it says please unload the filament, which is already done, and click Next. Next. Now it says remove the original tool header, but do not unplug the cable. Okay, so let's unscrew tool head. Okay, we've got the screw out. Set that aside. Don't want to lose it. Pull this off. And so now we will click finish. Now it says to please shut off the machine, unplug the cable, and plug it into the laser tool head. off and let's unplug these. We have to press down on this little collar here to pull these out. And we'll pull the cable. Okay, we've got the laser tool head. Plug this in. And we can just leave these to dangle. Put it on. And we'll put that screw back in. Okay, screws in nice and tight. Power on. Okay, let's go down to laser print guide. Okay, step one is place the object. So, got my wood here. I've uh, got it nicely sanded. And I put a little pencil mark right at the exact center. I'll put that on there. And I've got a little masking tape to uh, hold it down. But I'm not going to tape it all the way down yet. I'll just put these pieces on here. Get them ready. I do just want to put them on the very far corners. Just to make sure they're out of the way of the laser. Okay, next step is Auto Home Center. Click on that. And it goes all the way up to the top, and then it will come back down in the center. Okay, so the next step is laser pre scan, and it'll show a brief dot of the laser which I can use to put on my little dot that I put on the wood and then it will slide back and forth to show to help you position the wood and make sure it's gonna fit inside the entire area Okay, that should be right. So now that it's positioned, I can press down my pieces of tape to make sure it stays there. And I do have my safety glasses on the whole time, so I don't have to worry about that laser. Okay, next step is set origin. So I click and then I just click again. And the next step is print from SD, so I'll just click it and choose my file. But it would help if I put the SD card in there. Okay, so 
G code is on the SD card, SD card is in the machine, wood is on the machine, safety glasses are on my face, let's go. And it's starting. Okay, so here we are at 99%. We're just about finished. And as you can see, it did not come out that great. It is very light. Okay, so obviously that didn't work as expected or as hoped. Uh, came out very light. Uh, so uh, this is my last piece of clean wood I could try. So I went with some cardboard and tried messing with some more settings. And I came up with something that looked really good. I couldn't believe how really nice this looked. It's a little bit dark, but otherwise looks really nice. Uh, I, you know, I messed with a few settings, but didn't change anything drastic. The only drastic thing that I really changed, I think, was that I took the magnetic build plate off and was printing directly on the metal plate underneath. I don't really know if that would make a big difference, but whatever works, works. And I'll show you the settings on the screen here. But it looks really good. Uh, like I said, it's a little bit dark, so this one had the brightness set to 94. I changed it to 100 and came up with this one. And this one is, I think, as close to perfect as you can get. The contrast is a little bit high, but uh, yeah, it's, it looks really nice. I think if I made it any brighter, I might lose some of the details in the lighter areas. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that one. So hopefully I can repeat this with uh, other prints uh, or engravings. Um, but yeah, I mean, that is definitely the best of all. Here's uh, the uh, McLaren car drawing there. And uh, a few other little samples here. It's one of the YouTube logo, came out a little bit dark. I got it again, a little lighter. It looks good, except it has that banding. Um, somehow the Supergirl did not have that banding. So I don't know what caused that, but anyway, so it looks really good now, whatever happened. Um, but yeah, so there it is. Uh, that's how the laser engraver works. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, don't forget. And the bell. You know that bell. <laughs> it lets you know when I post new videos. Alright, I'll see you next time.